police have made several arrests today after forcibly moving climate change activists from a protest in Whitehall. It was the second day of action by Extinction Rebellion in central London. Tonight, the group have brought traffic to a standstill again in Cambridge Circus in the West End. Our political correspondent Simon Harris will be there in a moment, but first his report on the day's events. Day two of Extinction Rebellion's latest attempt to disrupt London and Whitehall was brought to a standstill. Activists parked themselves in the road outside the Treasury, forcing traffic to be diverted. Some chose to chain themselves together, so-called lock-ons. There's pipes inside here and there's, we've got chains around our wrists and there's a road in the middle and we're locked on here. How long will you stay? As long as it takes. It's cold. Uh, it's, yeah, you can't move your, your wrists or anything in there. It's, yeah, it's like... How will the police get you out? I have no idea. <laughs> but they will? Yeah. Climate activists from Wales took the lead on this protest. Paul was spurred into action by flooding at his home, but he wasn't expecting to be here for long. It's possible that they'll want us gone in the next couple of hours. Uh, so, um, uh, yes, we'll, we'll play it as it comes, but we're prepared to stay here um, indefinitely. We haven't, we haven't got a fixed end time. To begin with, police appeared to be taking a relaxed approach to the disruption. The protesters have been outside the Treasury for almost three hours now, and so far, the police have made no attempt to move them. Whitehall, meanwhile, is closed to traffic. But then, just after one o'clock, police officers were seen giving instructions to the activists in the road. If we didn't move by half one, then, then we would be occupying this road illegally. We were allowed to go to Parliament Square, where we're allowed to be non-disruptively protest, so of course it's not protest if it's not disruptive. Shortly afterwards, the speakers on a police van began to broadcast a message. You have until half past one, so to see it's causing an unlawful obstruction. If you do not leave the road, you will be arrested. And that was the beginning of the end. As most protesters obeyed the instruction, specialist officers moved in with cutting tools to release the rest. But they weren't free. One by one, they were carried to police vans to be driven away. Everyone will realise. But look, we're ready to go. Police, you I appreciate you want to have your say, but we've got other people in the van as well. We need to get in the cage and go, please. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Most of those who defied the police deadline to move before 1.30 were arrested. The operation to end the protest was swifter than yesterday's. There, police didn't start making arrests until late in the evening. This afternoon, traffic was again moving along Whitehall. Simon, how are things looking this evening? Uh, well, Duncan, uh, there's a big police operation underway here in the West End after the Extinction Rebellion protesters transferred their activities from Whitehall. Uh, Cambridge Circus, at the busy junction between Charing Cross Road and Shaftesbury Avenue, has been closed tonight, right at the start of the rush hour. As you can see, there's a white hire van parked in the middle of the junction. On top of it is one protester, another one or two are on the tailgate, and a couple appear to be chained to the chassis, sitting or lying on the floor. Now, this is the second time today, as we've seen, that uh, Extinction Rebellion have managed to close the road. This one's a really busy road at this time of night. As you can imagine, the West End is already packed with people coming out for the night. The traffic has had to be diverted after police set up roadblocks in, in the surrounding area. Now, we've seen a lot of police activity in the last few minutes. It, they've, they've made this a sterile area so the protesters can't get anywhere near the van and uh, crews with cutting gear have gone in to try to remove those protesters attached to it. Meanwhile, the rest of the Extinction Rebellion activists are parting, as you can hear, on Charing Cross Road behind me.